Alam niyo ba, Mr. Tunsuni, na itong abogado niyo na may meke, and yet, andito pa rin siya, pinapayagan niyo siya? I was expecting that he will no longer be here after na malaman ninyo na gumagawa siya ng hindi tama na nakakasira po sa imahe ninyong company. Kaya kapag dating ko rito, nagulat ako, andito pa rin siya. Kasi if I were you in, in your situation at meron ako isang staff na gumawa ng kalokohan, sisipakin ko na. Kaya nga sabi ko, gagawa sana ko na napakagandang statement na pupurihin ka. At yung nakikita ko ngayon, yung mga narinig ko, binabawi ko na yung mga gandang impression ko towards you personally. I'm sorry, Mr. President. I can say simply that I have 110 million reasons to start with. Such is my faith in the Filipino. To start the ball rolling, I uh, would like to thank Mr. Kotsuhi for attending uh, this uh, hearing. Uh, do you know, are you privy to what what is happening to your to the company? Uh, are I you was, aware? I was uh, briefed by our our lawyers sir, uh, after I arrived from my vacation. All right. Uh, are you aware of the uh, latest uh, Supreme Court ruling? Are you aware of the latest Supreme Court ruling? Uh, yeah, I think the Supreme Court amended its ruling from. Uh, yeah. Did you read the ruling of the Supreme Court? Yes, sir. I think I'm aware of it. Oh, uh, what can you say? I think they they levied the whole property. Okay, I will just for the record. I will just read the dispositive portion of the the decision of the Supreme Court. Wherefore, the court resolves to deny number one to deny the motion for partial reconsideration of petitioner DMCI Project Developers Incorporated for lack of merit. And number two, grant the motion for partial reconsideration of respondents Nelia Bernadas, Noel Batanes, Eduardo Nonsol, Jose Balde, Elmor Mabatan, and, Lilia, and Lilio de Bueno. The March 22, 2023 resolution of the court is affirmed with modification in that in that respondents, Nelia Bernadas, Noel Batanes, Eduardo Nonsolo, Zebalde, Elmor Mabatan, and Lilio Rubeno are entitled to the entire property covered in the transfer certificate of title number 25491, and that the January 4, 2011 order of the labor arbiter in NRC is affirmed in toto. You're aware of it? Yes, sir. All right. Okay. When did you receive this, this notice from the court? January 3. January 3? Yes, sir. Did you brief the president of uh, the MCI, Attorney Gascon? Yes. It seems that he does not know, he hasn't read the decision. He read it. Okay. We briefed the, pres the chairman, Your Honor. Okay. What is now the recourse of the MCI after this latest court resolution, Mr. Consumi? I think we filed a motion for reconsideration. How can you file a motion for reconsideration? This is the, already the answer of the first motion for reconsideration. You, you cannot file a second motion for reconsideration uh, before our, the court. Our lawyers believe that uh, it is not a second motion for reconsideration because the, the, the second decision was different from the first one. No, I don't think so. Uh, I'm not, uh, I cannot judge that, sir. I'm, I'm not aware. I think this is the, the answer for your first motion for reconsideration. And by law, and you're a lawyer, I am not, you cannot file an additional second motion for reconsideration in all courts for that matter. Uh, your Honor, we believe that uh, the, this is a new decision because uh, it clearly overturned its previous resolution. So uh, as a recourse, we file an, an MR motion for reconsideration last January 17, Your Honor, in the Supreme Court. But all, all right, assuming that you you filed again this uh, motion for reconsideration and uh, based on the Supreme Court ruling that uh, you have lost the, the, the case, uh, what is your what is your next uh, recourse? Well, we uh, assuming the Supreme Court again will deny your uh, motion for reconsideration, what is your uh, course of action. Next course of action. Uh, your Honor, since if, if, if that will happen, Your Honor, kung, kung sakali man po na kung dininay po ng Supreme Court yung aming 
second motion for consideration, uh, uh, our recourse of action is to, of course, it, sinabi naman po dyan sa, sa, sa resolution na the property belongs to the, to the what you call this, the workers. Mm. So uh, we, have set, we, will, we have settled already with the workers. Uh, you have rights. settled already with the workers? Yes, Your Honor. How did you settle with the workers? We, we, we went to the Office of the Labor Arbiter, Your Honor, and then we... When? September, Your Honor. September 20. As, as we have mentioned it already, Your Honor, in the previous uh, hearing, we, we, we filed it on October 19, 2023, Your Honor. Okay, I'll just go back to my previous question during the last hearing. You were too presumptuous, all right? I mentioned that word, presumptuous because the case was still pending before the Supreme Court, and you know that the land is being disputed, correct? Yes. And I was asking you, why did you sell this land, the, itong mga units, habang pending pa yung kaso sa Korte Suprema? Now that, you have, now that the Supreme Court has decided on it, that this entire property belongs to the workers, what now are you going to do with the, with the, with the unit owners? Uh, How are you going to settle with the unit owners? Of course, Your Honor. Uh, we'll make them whole, sir. Either we return their money or replace the units if, if, if we get an adverse decision from the Supreme Court. Have you talked to them? No, sir. Uh, didn't they know we, we, before we, you sold the property? Didn't they know that uh, this uh, this land is being the, disputed? The, the property was sold way before this issue came. We, the decision of the Supreme Court is 2023. Yes. We saw we developed it 2015. The better than that, when the Supreme Court decision. What? Mr. Chair. Yeah, Senator. Very clear to me. Uh, talagang mahilig gumamit ng delaying tactics itong DMCI. In fact, kanina, bago ako bumaba, I was gonna make a statement na sasabihin ko itong si Mr. Kunsunhi, he's a respectable uh, businessman na pinunda niya yung kanyang negosyo dahil sa hard work, honesty, and all. Pero base sa nagikinig ko kanina, lahat na mga yun nabura. Yung magagandang impression ko about you personally, biglang nabura. That's just my opinion. Um, you don't know when to surrender. Talagang ipupush nyo. And I doubt it na kapag sinasabi nyo nag kayo kahit na hindi na dapat, you will come up with many excuses para ma-stretch talaga to hanggang sa mga kamatay na siguro. Pardon for the word. Yung mga complainant. That's what you're trying to do. Yung, because you have all the resources na para pahabain to while these complainers does it. Now, balik tayo. November, last year, nag-file kayo ng MR. At sumagot ang Supreme Court doon sa MR na pinahal nyo. Um, Attorney Agnes Maranan or Ms. sino gusto magsalita? Uh, would you like to comment doon sa sinasabi nitong si, uh, si Attorney uh, Lazaro? Uh, so, sorry, I call you Lazaro kasi malala ko, nalala ko, siya yung kayang magbuhay ng patay. Did you know, before, before uh, I'll let you talk, Attorney Agnes Maranan, alam niyo ba, Mr. Kunsunhi, na itong abogado niyo na may meke, and yet, andito pa rin siya, pinapayagan niyo siya? I was expecting that he will no longer be here after na malaman ninyo na gumagawa siya ng hindi tama, na nakakasira po sa imahe ninyong company. Kaya ang pagdating ko rito, Nagulat ako, andito pa rin siya. Kasi if I were you in, in your situation at meron ako isang staff na gumawa ng kalokohan, sisibakin ko na. Kaya nga sabi ko, gagawa sana ko na napakagandang statement na pupurihin ka. At yung nakikita ko ngayon, yung mga narinig ko, binabawi ko na yung mga gandang impression ko towards you personally. I'm sorry, Mr. Kunzuni. Go ahead. Uh, Before that, uh, Senator Rafi, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, I have received notice that the former counsel of Mr. Lilio Rubeno has already uh, withdrawn uh, from the case, and uh, I think they have already a uh, new counsel that uh, will assist Mr. Lilio Rubeno in the name of uh, Attorney Maranan. Who else? Only you, no? Attorney Maranan? Uh, yes, sir. My, my partners are here as well, Your right. Honor. Okay. 
Um, Mr. Chairman, sir, at the senators, thank you for giving us the opportunity uh, to speak. Sir, um, I'd like to comment first, if I may, on the statement of Attorney Rebueno that they filed a second MR on the ground that this is a new decision. <laughs> so if that's going to be the argument, then you can file MRs ad infinitum because obviously the decision is always new. But it was a decision on an MR and the Supreme Court's the court, that is a well-settled rule that you cannot file a second MR. You can try, which is what obviously they did. But the trying is a dilatory tactic because you know very well that you cannot file a second MR. Sir, I think, however, what the MCI failed to mention is that there is not one case, but there are two Supreme Court cases. One which was resolved by the third division of the Supreme Court as early as 2022, and that has already become final, sir. So both in this decision uh, of November, which is before, I believe, the first division, and the third division, the resolution in these two separate cases is the same, that DMCI uh, does not have any rights to the property, and that, sir, the resolution which is being enforced by the Supreme Court is the decision of the labor arbiter which says the title of the MCI which they obtained unlawfully, at least that's the ruling, should be cancelled. So sir, yung argument sir that nagsettle naman kami and even that is disputable because sir, the ruling, the um, there is nothing in any document which says the shares are divisible where each of the six has one sixth share. All of the six own all of the entire property. That is the current state. So sir, if one of them does not settle, that kills the settlement. And that is a fact. Mr. Bueno did not settle. So besides, sir, yung settlement nila no October, at the time they supposedly, and that is what the uh, DMCI is saying, at the time they settled, in, I believe, September and October of 2023. There were no rights to transfer anyway because the, the workers here had already transferred their rights to the first buyer. So if they had already transferred their rights as early as February 2023, then by the time they executed a compromise agreement, two compromise agreements with five of the workers, there was nothing for the workers to transfer. It had been transferred. So that's, uh, that, that is with respect to the compromise agreement, sir. So, ang tingin po namin, ang, and may we also say, sir, if I may, that the fact that DMCI, in their compromise agreements, the two compromise agreements, specified that they were going to settle with the first buyer. They have a specific amount which they said they would pay to the first buyer. It's an admission they know that there was a first sale here already. Kaya nga nila gustong bayaran kasi nagkaroon na ng first sale. So sir, between the, the, the law is, is, is very clear, no? There can be no double sale here. And the compromise agreement effectively is a double sale. Worse, it was a compromise agreement as your, your Honor said, which was executed at the time na may kaso pa. So we totally agree, sir, that it was very presumptuous no, for them to execute this when they knew well, very well that may caso, no, may caso. Uh, Mr. Chair? Uh, yes, Senator Ravi. Attorney Agnes Maranan, sabi niyo kanina, uh, there's no such thing as second MR. Okay. So, kung uh, pag-uusapan natin itong decision ng Supreme Court, which is final and executory, dapat may cancel na yung title na hawak ng DMCI na yung DMC nagmamatigas. So, nandito ba yung uh, LRA? Yung RD? Are you the R regional director? So, therefore, with this decision by the, from the Supreme Court, i-cancel nyo na yung title. Can you do that? Or would you like us to uh, uh, call the Supreme Court and oblige you to do it? Sir, we Compel you to do it? Your Honor, we are waiting for the writ of execution for it to be cancelled, Your Honor. But we will comply with the order of the Supreme Court. We just need the writ of execution to cancel the existing title, sir. Attorney Maranan, sabi mo final? Because yes, sir. No by the way, there are, two, there are two decisions. As I said, the first one, 
which was final as early as 22, said exactly the same thing. Final. That, that, yes, sir, that one, undisputably, okay. that is final. That is executory. And, sir, if I may, the decision of the Supreme Court in both cases is already executory. I believe there's nothing more to wait for. The Supreme Court said implement okay. the or do arbiter's decision. The, do you have a copy of the decision, uh, Attorney Mararan? That it says uh, that it is already final and executory. The apologies, sir. What? Personally, I don't, I don't have it. But I have this. Uh, that is the November, sir. Yes, November. Do you have a latest uh, order of the Supreme Court? On the first case, sir. Uh, my apologies, sir. I, I did not bring a copy. This but on is the not first the latest uh, decision by the Supreme Court. That is the latest, sir. On the second case. All right. But on the first case. It, it is final. final. And I right. think even a 30... Uh, what about the second case? On the second case, sir, that is the latest solution. And it, are, it is our position, sir, that a second MR, if it was filed, is a dilatory tactic because it, there is a clear rule. Can you, can you uh, provide us a copy of the first uh, deci uh, the decision of, on the first case, uh, Attorney Mararan? Yes, and, sir. And please read the uh, dispositive portion. First case. Use a third division. Ito yung decision. You have it, Attorney Marana? Yes, Your Yes, Your Honor. I am holding the decision of the court dated. Uh, this is in GR number. 221978. Uh, it was a case which was resolved by the third division, and this order, sir, is dated April 4, 2022. And the dispositive portion of this order, which is the first case, says, wherefore, in view of the foregoing, the instant petition filed by DMCI is denied. The decision dated June 5, 2015, and the resolution dated December 15, 2015 of the Court of Appeals uh, affirming the April 3, 2013 resolution and the September 26, 2013 order of the LRA in consulta number 5208 are affirmed. For reference, sir, the decision and uh, the last sentence of this uh, decision says, the NLRC's, commission, the NLRC's order dated January 4, 2011, and the entry of judgment in that case, dated July 19, 2011, are registrable. Meaning, sir, if they are registrable, they can now be implemented. And as I mentioned earlier, said, sir, that January 4, 2011 uh, decision of the labor arbiter was very clear. It said the title which DS DMCI secured should be cancelled. Okay, uh, I also have a copy now of uh, the uh, decision of uh, the Supreme Court. Uh, Senator Rafi, you still want to continue? Um, babalik lang ako yeah. doon sa aking uh, katanungan kay Attorney uh, Agnes Maranan kasi nasabi nga niya na uh, meron ng final and executory decision Supreme Court doon sa isang kaso. Yes, sir. And then you cannot file a uh, second MR to another MR. To yes, sir. MR at nagpupumilit pa rin talaga itong DMCI. Um, meron na akong briefly na um, kikwento, uh, Mr. Chair. Sa programa ko po sa Wanted sa radio for the past 20 years, ang dami ko na pong natatanggap na reklamo sa mga malilit nating manggagawa na sila ay inapi ng kanilang mga amo. So they went to NLRC. After so many years of waiting, na panalunan nila yung kaso, and then pupuntahan yung company, it's either nagsara na o dili kaya nalipat ng pangalan sa ibang uh, may-ari or inalaban sa korte which ito nangyari ngayon. Patagalan na lang, pati bayan. Hindi ko na mabilang yung mga lumapit sa akin na nang kamatay na, pati pa yung kanila mga anak, patay na. Inabutan ng 15, 20 30 years pa. Hindi pa na-resolve yung kaso. Dahil nga, yung kumpanya, maraming resources, maraming pera, pwedeng 
magtiis, patagalan. Paano yung mga magagawa natin? Yung iba, pumupun na lang abroad. Kaysa mag-antay, mag-OFW na lang, ligtas na yung kampanyang bandarambo. Yung iba, uwi na lang probinsya, kaysa naman pabalik-balik, magka-pamasahe, nagsasawa. And this is what's happening right now sa DMCI. Meron na desisyon yung Korte Suprema at lalabanan pa rin yung desisyon na yun. Kaya nga sabi ko kanina, Mr. Chair, meron na palang uh, desisyon yung Supreme Court isinang ayunan yung sinabi ng NLRC from the beginning na i-cancel yung title at and the Supreme Court did agree. Tama, Attorney Marana? Yes. yes Based sir. on that their decision here? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. So therefore, kayo po, dyan sa LRA, Register of Deeds, Kay, dapat gumawa kayo ng aksyon. Maliban na lang kung kayo po'y nabayaran. Go ahead po, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, with due respect, sir, the LRA readily uh, uh, will, will comply with the decision of the Supreme Court. So there's a decision already? Yes, sir. There, okay. It was raised in Consulta 5208 the issue of registrability of the court order. The decision of LRA was to annotate the registrability of the decision, but as to the cancellation of the title itself, we require the uh, writ of execution to comply with that order, sir. That's the only thing left, sir, for us to readily comply. Okay. What's your opinion on that, Attorney Maranan? Well, sir, the, what is registrable is the order of the labor arbiter, which says that the title should be cancelled. And if I may, sir, with respect to the first case which I had just read, we are also holding, and we can submit this to this Honorable Commission, uh, uh, Committee, the entry of judgment in that case. And the entry of judgment says, it, this was issued on January 16, 2023, and this says that the April 4 decision which I had read has already become final and executory. Might be worth noting also, sir, that when they executed the, when they executed the compromise agreements with the five workers, this decision which said the title should be cancelled had already become final and executory. Oh, okay. So, Nadine, Attorney Garcia? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, our legal uh, attorney, uh, Lasal, they will explain, sir, the... They can, the legal to legal. Sir. Okay, attorney, see, attorney Agnes Maran, she, she uh, just gave the, the, a legal opinion on this matter that we're talking about. And so kayo nagbibigyan ng different opinion. So magkasulungat ang inyong opinion. So, uh, in other words, kinukonta niyo po yung decision ng Supreme Court para sa inyo hindi sapat pa yun. Kailangan meron talagang nakastate doon na it should be executory. No, sir. Uh, you, can I give the floor, sir, to Attorney Rizalde, who can discuss the Attorney Rizalde, go ahead, please. Good morning, Honorable Senator Tulfo and Senator Estrada. Um, under the processes of the Land Registration Authority, we, when we decide that um, a decision is registrable, it only means that the, re the decision is registered on the title as notice to the whole world that certain rights have been annotated. In the case of the NLRC decision and decisions of the court, we, however, require under our processes that a writ of execution be presented to the RD. We will, of course, comply. We just require that one thing because that is what is in our processes, Your Honor. Tony Maranan, so they're waiting for a writ of execution? <coughs> well, sir, we find it a little odd that what the LRA is in effect saying that we will allow a registration on a title and the regist and the what is going to be registered is a decision which says that very title is to be cancelled. So, sir, uh, we it is our position that this is already it, this is already something that can be executed, sir. That's our position. Ano pong hinihintay ninyo? Uh, something that will literally say na eh, from the Supreme Court na kailangan uh, magkaroon na ng writ of execution? Yes, uh, Senator. That is all we require, the writ of execution, and we will comply absolutely because that is the way the processes of the LRA have been made. So the opinion of um, Attorney Maranan, while we take note of that, that does not hold water with our office. Okay. Where would that writ of execution will come from para kayo po ay sumunod na? I-present lang po ng sheriff or yung prevailing party sa amin, tapos i-authenticate, and then... Teka na, mag-present ang sheriff ng... Usually, in, 
Yes, sir. Usually, we have we require that a sheriff or a party presents to us. Kaya nga, sino nga yun? Sheriff ng Korte Suprema, sheriff ng NLRC, magpapresent ng writ of execution. Your Honor, the NLRC. Okay. Yan ang kailangan po. NLRC. Uh, NLRC. So, they're just waiting for a writ of execution coming from you para sumulod na sila doon sa sinasabi ng Supreme Court na mailipat na may cancel ng title. Uh, Inihintay lang pala kayo. Then, do your job. Hindi, cancel the uh, uh, title. We will, I will check po on the record. Issue pero, a writ of execution. Pero, pero po kung ang sinasabi po ng LRA ay yung writ of execution na nagmula sa NLRC, matagal na pong natapos kasi po ang kaso na to. 1997 pa po yata. So, kung pong yung Kasi po, di ba, ang proseso po sa amin is that magkakaroon po kami ng desisyon at uh, pagkatapos po ng desisyon na yon, maaring umabot hanggang Korte Suprema. O pero sa amin pa lang po, uh, kahit po umakyat ng Court of Appeals yung respondent, mag i na po kami ng writ of execution. Ang of execution meron na kayo na-issue na writ of execution? Meron na po execution. ito kasi 1990s pa po na kaso okay. ito eh. So, so, ang nangyayari lamang po, ah, Mr. Senator, pasensya na po. Ang nangyayari lamang po is that wala pong nakuha na uh, cash or uh, pera para masatisfy ang judgment sa kaso na ito. Kaya po ang ginawa po ng aming sheriff ay sinubasta yung ari-arian o yung property nung respondent na siyang may titulo. Ang naging problema lamang po rito is that nung pong sinusubasta na, ang sinabi po bigla ng DMCI, hinarang po nila yung pagsubasta dahil lang sabi nila, nabili na raw po nila ang property na ito na dating pag-aari nung respondent sa original na kaso. Okay, so in short, meron na pong na-issue na writ of execution meron from the NLRC. Ito. So ngayon, ang gusto nila for the second time, mag-issue ulit ng writ of execution. Now, okay, just for the sake of argument, halimbawa, nag-issue siya ng writ of execution uh, bilang pangalawang uh, aksyon doon sa unang writ na kanilang issue, would you oblige? Uh, Your Honor, for clarity, your sheriff, the sheriff of the NLRC, will go to the Supreme Court to get the the writ of execution and serve it upon the Register of Deeds, whereupon the RD has nothing left to do but to cancel the title. Because that is part, that is the last part of the process, of the legal okay. process for the transfer. Okay, so ang gusto niyo mangyari, ang NLRC pupunta sa Supreme Court para humingi ng writ yes, sir. of execution. Yes, sir. <coughs> Thank you.